to reflect the fashion production this is puppy tails well actually no it's not it's prince tails and apparently malia thought i was squeaking this squeaky toy that prince has why are you biting me i i am not your toy that's him i was trying to get it away from him and he was squeaking it so she thought she was gonna get mad at me because he's squeaking his own toy he know how to squeak toys he, he don't do it this much. And you gonna come in my... Oh gosh. So you see him, he's he's having a good old funky time. So, um, basically this is the last Prince Tales. Next, next year we're gonna do one at least once a month just to talk about his training and what he's doing. And right now he's like really reverted back because it's so many things that has gone on and taken place. Why are you biting my fingers? I just don't like that. Calm down. I don't like that game. Let go. Why are you pinching me? I don't like that. So um, one of the things that I really want to do is get back into training him so that we can get back on track because we were doing really well and so we had some things going on and I just will say that when you're training you definitely have to be consistent and you have to make sure that you are in control and not your animal because when I tell you Prince thinks he what's he got Prince thinks he runs everything he, he thinks he runs everything so I actually no, love here. the little squishmallow things. And it's Malia's fault because she was like, oh, I want this. And then I bought him one that has guac, named Guac. And I was really excited about it. And then he ripped it up like a couple of weeks ago. Was it a couple of weeks ago? A month ago. A month ago. And I was really sad. So I have to like doctor it up and put it back together. Why, why are you harassing me? You got to go potty? Can you take him out? Ouch. You gotta go potty? Let's go potty. Come on. Sit. Good boy. That's a good boy. You gonna wait for her? You wait for Malia? What? What are you doing? Um, I forgot what I was talking about. Oh yeah, be, just being consistent with the training. One of the things that we really need to start doing is um, training him around our home so that when we go outside, we're not having a hard time because he's getting big. Like when I tell you he is big and when he pulls me, I swear it's like crazy. Prince. It hurts so bad. He strains my back. But um, I, I'm, we've been working on his training. And uh, to be honest with you, with everything that has happened, he kind of reverted back a little bit to where he's not really listening. And that's very hard, but he's a puppy within itself. Like, he's seven months and Sometimes he drives me so crazy. And sometimes he does really well. So I actually decided that I was going to do different types of treats, like longer treats to get, get him to walk up, like with me. And when I say walk with me, I'm saying just on the side of me. Um, I bought um, two different types of treats. I got some milk bones and then I got these. Um, they're like chicken bites, but they're in little squares. I think. He likes those, so I'm going to try those um, when we go on a walk. I know it's like starting to get dark and it was raining today, so I might just take him for just a 15-minute a walk versus a 30-minute walk um, tonight, and then in the morning we'll try it. Hopefully it's not raining because it seems like every weekend for the last two weekends it's been raining, and I'm just like, I'm not here for it. I'm really not. But since they went outside, let me show you. Uh, 
Okay, so this is Guac here. He really just ate, he ate him up. I don't understand why he did that. But you know, when he was little, his teeth were so sharp, there was a little hole. And I actually doctored it up a little bit. So I think what I'm going to do is um, patch this up. I'm going to take it and fold it over. So you can still see the smell. I'm going to fold it over and sew it up like that. And then I got him a new one. I got Lady. I think this is, and she's so pretty. And he's already tried to like bite her ears. So I think I'm going to wait until it's time for him to go to sleep so that I can put her in his room. That's what I call his crate, his room. Um, right now his crate is empty with a little blanket that he had when he was little, but he's like ripped that up. And I know everybody's like, well, labs do this and they do that. And I'm just like, he's mixed. He's, he's a lab mix. So I don't want him destroying his toys, even though I know that he's a dog, but still, I just want, I want to keep stuff for a long period of time. And I really do like these squishmallows for, for him. Cause he does like lay on top of him like he does when he was little he he used to lay on top of guac it was so cute it was so cute um there are a few other um toys that i have to fix so i'm probably gonna just be sewing all next week um i think that this will be our last puppy tail that we actually post We'll just probably do like um, some shorts just because, I mean, it's a lot going on. It's uh, the holiday season and then we got New Year's coming up. Hey, sir, bitch, bitch. We forgot treat. Good boy. You got treats in your pocket? Did he poop? Oh, you did good. Both of you guys did really good. Um, so yeah, so we just got stuff going on. I got him this little purple uh sweater, which Malia says he looks like a girl, but I don't think so. He's so handsome. And then I have this other little onesie set for Christmas. I need to actually get some Velcro so that I could Velcro it so I could pull it up on him because it, it's, it's just the way it fits. It, it fits weird. I don't like it. So if I cut it and then put some Velcro on it so where I could pull it apart, I think it'll it'll fit him a little bit better. Just uh, adjusting it. Actually, let me show you. See, I should have showed, showed when you were not here. Because now you're just pulling. No. Absolutely not. No, sir. Okay. Look, isn't that cute? You want to try it on? You want to try it on? Because I'm going to put it on you. You want to put it on? Okay, give me a second. I'm going to put this on him. Hold on one second. It's definitely fun having a fashion show with a puppy. Um, Prince is now seven months, which is um, very interesting. Like he definitely has his own mindset of things. And I definitely have to be consistent with him because he thinks he's running it. I guess because his nickname is King Prince because he's so big. He's seven months and he always ready look like he's three years old. But he's not. He's seven months. Um, but really just all jokes aside it's important to definitely have a consistent schedule when it comes to training your pup so that they can understand no means no right now we are working on no means no and this is the little outfit that i was actually trying to put on him we're gonna do that for christmas i can't wait i really want him to sit down i was thinking about like getting some velcro and trying to fix it up so that it actually looks good on him because right now it just it looks weird and malia doesn't like it and um, this is Lady. We introduced him to Lady last night. And I was kind of upset because he was like biting on her ears. She's so cute. 
Like, how would he feel if I bit his ears? But that's beside the point. I just want him to have nice things. I think it's important to do that. And I know he's a dog, but I think it's important to have nice things for your dog as well. Okay, so that was the end of our puppy tails. Like, we literally have our prince tails. So now what I'm going to do is basically go and wash his stuff so that it could actually fit him a little better. Not only that, but I want to be able to um, Velcro the Christmas. We'll see, we'll see what it looks like for Christmas. And we'll do little shorts, but this is actually the last <sighs> print tail. Oh, oh, okay. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.